Hello children, welcome to my Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn indices in grade 8 syllabus. Let us recall what was learned in grade 7 about indices. Here you are given a product. Let's see how to expand this. 3x square can be expanded as 3 into x into x. As well as when we consider 5y cube. How to expand? 5 into y into y into y. As well as in grade 7 you have learned how do we write a given number in index notation with base prime number. Here you are given a question to recall our knowledge about indices. 24. Let's write 24 with base prime number. What is our first prime number? 2 now. So we can divide 24 by 2. 24 divided by 2. The answer is 12. Again we can divide 12 by 2. The answer 6. Again we can divide 6 by 2. 3. Again we cannot divide 3 by 2. So our next prime number is 3. Let me start to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, 1. Now we have our division is finished. Now we can write 24 as product of these 4 numbers. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Then how do we write in index notation? Here we have multiplied 2 in 3 times. So we can write 2 to the power 3 into there is only one 3, 3 to the power 4. Can you remember? Here, let's see another one. Write 81 in index notation with base 3. Here you are given the base. Then we have to divide 81 by 3. When we are given the base is 2, we have to divide by only 2. Here base is 3. 81 divided by 3, 27. 27 divided by 3, 9. 9 is divided by 3, 3. 3 is divided by 3, 1. Now we can write 81. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now there are 4 of 3's. Then 3 to the power 4. I think you have recalled your knowledge about indices that you have learned in grade 7. Okay, in grade 8, you have to learn how do we express a given power of a product as product of powers. Here, look at 2 into 5. 2 into 5 is the product of 2 and 5. 2 into 5 to the power 3. Here, this is the third power of the product of 2 and 5. Now, let's try it. 2 into 5 to the power 3 as product of power of product of powers. Here 2 into 5 to the power 3. First we have to expand. Here 2 into 5 is multiplied in 3 times. 2 into 5 2 into 5 2 into 5 Let's remove brackets. 2 into 5, 2 into 5, 2 into 5. Then, how many 2's are multiplied? 1, 2, 3. Then we can write it as 2 to the power 3 into, here 5 is multiplied in 3 times. 5 to the power 3. Here, 2 into 5 to the power 3 can be written as product of powers as 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 3. This part, power of product. Power of product. Here, product of powers. Now, let's see. Now, let us consider a power of a product with containing algebraic terms. Here, x, y to the power 2. We can expand x, y into x, y. Then we can write x into y into x, y mean x into y. Here 
x is multiplied twice. Then x to the power 2, y is multiplied by twice, y to the power 2. x, y to the power 2 can be written as x to the power 2, y to the power 3. This part, a power of product, here product of powers. Now let us do an example to polish our knowledge. Here, this is the theorem we have learned. A, B to the power 3, A, 3 into B, 3. A power of a product, product of powers. Here, you are given to write given this power of product as product of powers. 9 into 4 to the power 3. Now, it can be written as 9 to the power 3 into 4 to the power 3. That's not difficult. Here, how do we write? 4xy to the power 8. We can write 4 to the power 8, x to the power 8, y to the power 8. Now, I think this example is enough for to understand how to write a given expression as a product of powers. Now, let's see how do we write given expression as power of product. Here, 4 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 5. Now, we can write it as here, the index of both numbers are 5. So, we can write 4 into 3 to the power 5. Here, next, next example, 9 to the power 2, p to the power 2, q to the power 2. All index are 2. So, we can try 9, P, Q to the power 2. This 2 belong to all 9, P and Q. Here, this one. A special one. 25, T square. Here, the index is 2. But, the square um, index of 25 is not 2. Its index is 1. So, we have to write 25 with the index 2. So, we know that 25 is 5 to the power 2. 5 to the power 2, t to the power 2. Now, we can write both indices, indices are 2. So, 5 t to the power 2. Clear? Now, this one. 27 y to the power 3. As like previous example. Here index is 3, but index of 27 is not 3. We try to write 27 with index 3. Here, 3 into 3 into 3. 3 into 3, 9. 9 into 3, 27. So, 27 can be written as 3 to the power 3 into y to the power 3. Now, we have write power of a product now. So, both indices are 3. So, 3y to the power 3. Now, I think you have understood how to write given power of a product as product of powers as well as how to write given product of powers as power of a product. In this lesson, you have to learn the power of a negative integer also. Before that, let's see the power of a positive integer. Here, 1 to the power 2. What is the answer? 1 into 1. 1 into 1, 1. 1 to the power 5. 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1. Also 1. You know, any power of a 1, any power of a 1 is 1. Then, 2 to the power 3. 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 2 to the power 2. 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2, 4. You have learned this in grade 7. Now let's see the power of a negative integer. Here, minus 1 to the power 1. What is the answer? Here, minus 1, we have to multiply it only one time. Then the answer, minus 1. Then, minus 1 to the power 2. Minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1, the answer positive 1. You know, when two negative numbers are multiplied, the answer is positive. Here I have written negative numbers 
within brackets. Why you know? Normally directed numbers are written in written within brackets. Here minus 1 to the power 3. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1. Positive 1. Positive 1 into minus 1. Minus 1. If not negative 1. Here. Minus 1 to the power 4. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1. Positive 1. Positive 1 into minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1. Positive 1. Then the answer positive 1. Here, minus 1 to the power 5. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1, positive 1. Positive 1 into minus 1, negative 1. Negative 1 into negative 1, positive 1. Positive 1 into negative 1, negative 1. Here you can see these answers. Let's see another one. Minus 2 to the power 1. Here minus 2. Minus 2 to the power 2. Minus 2 into minus 2 positive 4. Here the is a special property. Look at those indices. When we consider a power of a negative number. If the index of a negative number is an odd, here 1 is odd, 3 is odd, 5 is odd. If the index of a negative number is odd, always answer is a negative number. As well as if the index of a positive index of a negative number is an even its answer is always positive. Here look at minus 2 to the power 1. Index is an odd number. So the answer negative. Here minus 2 to the power 2. Index is an even. So the answer is 4. Okay. When, when I have considered a power of a negative number. Minus a to the power b. If the b is order, value of this expression is negative. If the b is an even number, value is positive. You have to keep this in your mind. Here, look at, you know any power of 1 is 1. Minus 1 to the power of 7. What is your answer? Here, look at. What is the index? Index is odd. So the answer should be negative. Must be negative 1. Then minus 1 to the power 100. Here index is an even number. So the answer is positive 1. Not needed to write positive. Here minus 1 to the power 2019. Here 2019 index is and all. So the answer negative 1. Minus 1 to the power 2020 this year. Here 2020 even. So the answer positive 1. Here look at this example. You are given 2 to the power 5 is 32. You are asked what is the magnitude of minus 2 to the power 5. Then here we have to multiply 2 5 times. You know that answer is 32. Here index is 5. So the answer is negative 32. Let's see another example. You are given 3 to the power 4 is 81. Then what is the answer? Value of minus 3 to the power 4. Here also we have to multiply 3 4 times. When we multiply 3, 4 times, answer is 81. Here, the index is even number. So, the answer is 81. Now, I think you have learned about indices. Now, I think you have some knowledge about how to write, 
how to find the value of a power of the negative integer. Now I have finished the lesson in this us. If this lesson is useful to you, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to click the bell icon to watch my more videos. We'll meet in another lesson. Goodbye.